Welcome to Mr. Unicorn's YouTube channel. That's me. And today we've got a review of the German tanks. We're going to give a basic review with um, a, with just a few shootings of each. Go on and show you how it works. And our company us is Ramus. Say hi, Ramus. Hey. hey. He is my guinea pig and uh, a long lasting member of um, Barnes. Hey. Um, tell us the name of this vehicle, Ramus. Yep. And the this is car, called the um, cool wagon. The commander's car. You can drive it, but infantry can sit around it, and there's normally um, a radio in the back, so you can use that. And also, it's fast, it's decent off road, and it's a good scout car. Um, you can also put the window up and down, which is handy. Um, so, if you come out the cool wagon for me. Sorry for any mispronunciations. This is the logistics truck. Holds cargo in the back. Uh, the logistics have to use this truck to uh, get a supply and so they can build sandbag defences and other things like that. Uh, this is, These take a while to respawn and are pretty easy to destroy. You can blow the engine up with an MG, let's say. And um, every time they run out of supply, they have to go back to the main base and get more supply. They can drop it off, um, put it back on, take it somewhere. Um, this truck is quite valuable to the logistics. And if we move on, the, we have the um, the infantry truck, camouflaged, and it can hold um, a full squad in it, infantry squad. Very handy, um, quite slow, it's also a mobile spawn point. So this means infantry can come in and out, they can spawn in it, mobile spawn point. Uh, it's like a, an FOB, but you can move it. It cannot go in the objective, because then it won't spawn. Any infantry, it won't work. And then we've got the normal infantry. Um, this very low protection, people can get shot out of it, because uh, when they sat down here, they've got no protection. Um, the truck can be shot by one AT bullet. It's down. I can't even so guys, fix this that is kind the, of um, issue. Armored car or the half track. It's very good, well armored, and um, can hold a full uh, squad in it, like this car. It has an MG on it. Um, it has vision ports. You can also open the vision port like that, but you can get shot. So that's quite dangerous. I have been shot while doing that before. It does make more of a view. But when you close it, it's a short vision vision slot. Like you can't really see much out of it. Um, you can't even see the road properly, so it's really difficult to drive this car. And the MG, can you get on the MG for us, Thomas? There we go. Can you, can you shoot it for us? There we go. The MG MG42 is very handy for when you're in northern environments. It's good for some defense for the car, for when the um, squad's getting out, and the squad's getting out, and if the MG is support, it, it does help a lot. Um, and it also looks really cool. And the front plates do work, it does give you protection. So if you come out the, the car please, Ramus. This is the 20mm um, uh, flak truck. So. Um, it's pretty open. You can get shot really easily with this. Um, the gun does have a bit of protection from the front, but not at the back. You can also put the window down. There we go. It is a 20mm. It has AP and HE. And that's it. Can you give us a shot, please? There we go. You have to be careful when you're shooting it through the front because you can uh, shoot your own guy in the back of the head with a 20mm at a flat point. So. And so, that damaged me a bit. But um, the HE is very powerful, great against um, infantry. 
this is not very good against um, tanks like the Panzer or the Sherman or anything like that. Uh, it's mainly for infantry or light armored tank, light armored vehicles. It has no machine gun on it, just a 20 millimeter. So if you come out of that, thank you. This is basically the same thing, but without a 20 mm 20 millimeter on it. I don't think you see these in the game. You see the other one, the 20 millimeter in the game, but you don't see this one in the game. No, this one. I don't. Tell me in the comments if you've actually seen one of these. But this is the um, infantry version of it, so you can carry people in. I think you'd be able to carry like three or four in each row. And now we're coming off the um, infantry side of vehicles, and now we're going onto the light armored vehicles. So if you can get in this one. So when you're the driver or anyone in the the vehicle, if you use the scroll button, you can um, go through different ports. So as you can see, you just put it up and down. If you use the scroll to do that, and if you press E, you turn the engine on. As the driver, there we go. It'll show a little symbol. And can you turn the engine off, please? Never mind. Um, show us the gun, please. This is the same gun as the 20 meter, 20 meter truck, flat truck. But this one has also an MG uh, 34. This one also has an MG 34 on it. So. Uh, it, it is very good this, uh, for infantry, infantry support, and infantry. Um, it can take on light armored trucks, any kind of truck, any kind of jeep. But it, it's pretty useless when you put it against a tank, unless you shoot it from right behind. It's a good scout car. Um, it's very fast, good off road. Uh, it needs three people. Well, it doesn't need three people, but the seats. There's three seats in the vehicle. This is a, a bigger uh, light armored vehicle. This, ha this is similar, very similar, but there's only two seats in the vehicle so that means the commander and the gunner have to be the same people. Uh, and um, There's a 20mm and um, a machine gun on there. It's either smaller or the same gun as this one. This vehicle. Same engine. Um, I, I think they're both are quite equal. This one's a bit slower than this one because of the, obviously the size. But it's just as equal off-road and on-road. Um, it has decent armour. Personally I think it's quite an ugly vehicle. It's good against infantry. It's a bit bigger. So I think you can see it a lot easier. It's not as good at scouting but it can be still used as the scout. And um, that's about it. There we go. So now we leave the light tanks and we're going to the medium tanks. Um, this is a Puma. This has a cannon on it, so it's a 50 millimeter cannon. The um, smoke canis, uh, the smoke launchers do not s shoot smoke canisters. This is a fast vehicle with eight wheels. Um, there's one driver, commander, and a gunner. So there's three seats in this. Um, it's good off-road and on-road. And this can take down um, a light tank, a light British or American tank. It could probably face on a Sherman from the side or back. Um, let me see, I think this tank could kill a Cromwell, it could go up against a Cromwell. Uh, kind of like an equal. It has um, a 50mm and a turreted machine gun. Something else. It's quite lightly armoured. Um, good turret rotation and uh, it's good against infantry and light armoured vehicles. Ramus, can you come out of the tank for me, please? Now we're going to the Panzer lineup. This is the um, Panzer 2, I think. Panzer 3. 
can't exactly remember, I, I don't know the numbers. But this has the same gun as this, the 50mm but shot. And it also has a um, a hull machine gun, so if you shoot the main gun first, more of a kick. This is a more heavily armoured and additional armour there. Additional armour plates. I don't know if that's not additional, it's just on the tank. But it looks like additional armour plates. And it also has a, a hull machine gun, so if you go on the hull machine gun for me, Ramus. There we go. See how it moves around. It is a, a swivel machine gun. Or a ball. Ball mount machine gun. It is very handy. Hard to give the um, turret to someone else. If it's the turret's occupied and there's infantry, you can use that machine gun to mow them down. It's very handy indeed. Come out of there. Please. This, the two, these two, not this one, but this Panzer. Uh, there is no hatch, I don't think, so you cannot get out of the tank. Well, you can get out of it, but I mean, like, you can't come out the hatch. Ramus will show you on this tank what the hatch looks like. There is set animations for it. There we go. When you're in this um, viewpoint, you can get shot really easily. I've been shot while doing this. You can get sniped, you can get killed by any soldier. And if you get shot by a tank or a shell or an anti-tank shell, um, it'll you're most likely gonna die from the explosion if you're in that position. Uh, while you're getting in, you don't get shot because you're closing the hatch. But um can you close the hatch for his armors? Oh never mind. Right, okay. Um Oh yeah you did. Right, this has a 75mm gun, so the gun's been upgraded. It has more kick to it, it has more, uh, it's more powerful and it can go further. Further. It's got a longer range, so if you shoot the gun first, there we go. See how a much bigger explosion. Um, this one has APC and APC, um, AP and HE. Uh, it definitely has AP and HE. I don't know if that has smoke rounds, but I think it does. Yeah. It has a very large, long range. And um, it has a hull machine gun. It has a turreted machine gun there. Right next to the main gun. So, there we go. It's very handy. This is. Uh, you can also get the same Panzer. You get the same panzer with side skirts in the main game. That one seems to be the most common one. So if you come out of that, it also looks awesome when he's in the um, hatch. So now we're going to the heavy tanks. So first we get the panther. The panther has the same gun as um, the panther. Now I mean the panzer. Panzer and panther. Uh, the Panzer has a bigger, the, the same gun but longer as the Panzer. Um, I don't. It seems to have a bigger kick. It can go further. Got more range. Does around the same amount of damage. It's got quite a fast turret rotation. And it's got it's well armored from the front. A lot more armored than the uh, Panzers. So give us a shot, Ramus. There we go. This is a total anti-tank. This is tank against tank. Um, this thing is quite weak towards infantry, so because uh, of the size of the tank, infantry fans are quite easy to get behind it and stick a bomb on it. Or shoot it with AT. You have to be very careful when you're in urban environments with this tank. And as I say, um, hull machine gun. It has HE, APCR, and um, AP. And then there's a the machine gun, there's a turret machine gun, and there's the Koopal. Come out of the Panther. For me, Ramus. And the tank, what everyone's been waiting for, is the Tiger. This has an eight, uh, a pack 88, or an 88mm. It's got the biggest, one of the biggest guns for a tank in the game. 
and um, it's well armoured. It's quite slow. It's not a very fast tank, but once you get going, it's quite go. It goes quite fast. Um, you just turn the engine on. You can get out the hatch as um, commander and driver, and coaxial machine gun. Well, coaxial uh, ball machine gun. Um, the turret turns extremely slow. Extremely slow turret ro rotation does not go fast at all and that's quite uh, a big weakness of the tank because if there's something behind you then you have to turn the whole tank to get to it and that's a bit of a difficult one um, that hurt Ramos there we go heal myself so um, this has a huge kick to it, it has a huge range, and uh, but the bullet does dip quite a bit, I have to say. And um, it has a, a turret machine gun, yeah, the driver has quite a good view, and it goes a decent speed. You can kill about anything on the uh, Allied tank team. Um, the only thing the Allies can really do to it from the front is by the Sherman Firefly or the Sherman um, but even the Sherman with the 75mm struggles from the front uh, so if you come out of that turn the engine off for me thank you so now we go from the heavy tanks to the tank destroyers um, this is the Stug the Stug is was um, used so much in the war and um, it's used quite a lot in the game. It has a driver, gunner, and commander. It doesn't. It has a, um, a turret machine gun, but the turret cannot turn much of an angle at all. So you have to turn the whole tank if you want to get around and shoot someone at another angle, which the turret can't reach until you move. Um, the commander has quite a good view. It has sight ports. Um, glass windows if you want to call them all around and uh, he has quite a good view the uh, driver has a periscope there as well so does the gunner and um, you can see basically all around the tank with it and the, um, the commander can get back in it's decently armoured and it has a 75mm short barrel it's quite fast and that's it for the stug there this is the same stug, which is camouflaged and has leaves on it for even more camouflaged. If camouflage, it also has side skirts for heat, sh heat shells, which is very handy. Basically the same stug but with upgrades. Now this, you don't really see these in the actual game. I think I've only seen one or two spawn. I haven't seen the um, one with bushes on it, so we're going to go on to the... Um, non camouflage one so this is basically an upgrade from the Stug it's a Jag Panther I think or Jag Panzer but um, it has a 75 again same gun it has better armour and it also has um, the pierce what they used to use so magnetic um, my magnetic explosives couldn't connect with the tank so I'll do the Tiger one of the Panzers and uh, the Panther out of them. It, um, the commander can come out of the tank but it doesn't have a cool player like the um, Stugs. We're back. Um, the the map had to restart. So this tank, um, have you seen this tank in the main game? I, I, I think it does spawn, it's just I haven't really seen it. You get the camouflaged one and the um, non-camouflaged one. Does, is this a 75 millimeter or is it a 76? Yep. It's a 75, but a longer barrel it's without the, uh, the muscle break. Same viewports. It has quite good viewports. There's no hatch on it, but there is a hatch for the commander. Can you shoot for us? As you can tell, it doesn't have much of an angle. To move around in. 
There we go. It's just camouflage and non camouflage. And now, this 88mm flat gun. This is not in the actual game. It is bugged at the moment. You can't, there's no gunner seat or anything. So, that's it, I think. With the, um, this is just a bog standard um, anti tank gun. You have to tow it on the back of a car or you can push it around basically. It's good on a street, the end of a street where you know a, tag is, um, a tank is coming down. So yeah, uh, this cannot be used yet. You can push it around but it looks a bit weird. And that's it for today's video. Yeah, go on. The only one that can be used is the uh, build yeah, level one on some of the maps the way, when, yeah, when the 88 yeah. is just stuck you on the ground. You can get the gun, you yeah. just can't get it in this form. So, um, that's it for today's video guys. I hope you've enjoyed this kind of a tutorial where we're just showing you the tanks and telling you what to do. Um, and an AT. Um, I hope you like enjoyed the video. And if you like this series, or if you want more of this with the allies as well, then uh, please comment down below or like the video. And I hope you all like it. Subscribe to me. See ya.